Jeff Locke uh, out of UCLA. Um, I should say, let me go back to um, Hodges. Hodges will wear number 54. Uh, that's his jersey number. Sorry. Uh, so Locke, um, yeah, picked in the fifth round with the 22nd pick of the fifth round, 155th pick overall out of UCLA. Six foot tall, 209 pounds, 30 and a half inch arm length. I don't know how much this matters. Nine inch hands, I guess you want sort of big hands. So he holds on to the ball this snap. Uh, 4.8240 yard dash, four that's worth for a punter. Um, he'll wear number 12, at least for now. He's sharing that with uh, James Vanderberg, uh, Iowa quarterback, Vikings, uh, um, uh, took as an undrafted free agent. Uh, his positives, and there's, I mean, there's just not a lot of stuff out there on punters. Uh, he's left-footed, so he puts a different spin on the ball. Do you think that matters that much? I don't know how big of a deal that should be, but uh, he's left-footed. He consistently hits touchbacks on kickoffs. Uh, very, very strong leg, illustrated by uh, he, he was used on field goals, uh, long field goals of 49 and 51 yards, which he hit as a junior. Um, Average 43 yards per punt as a senior, 44 yards as a junior, 46 yards as a sophomore, 44 yards as a freshman. Uh, that's a 4.58 yards per average career uh, in his college career. 55 career touchbacks on kickoffs. It's very, very strong. Like I had one kickoff split the upright. So um, there's that. Uh, no question he's got some, some length and strength in his leg. The question is... Um, why do you take a punter in the draft? Most people don't draft punters in, in the fifth round. Uh, so we saw last year the Vikings took, uh, took Blair Walsh, uh, drafted a kicker, which, again, is not typically what you do. You just sort of wait for the uh, free agents or a veteran or whatever. Um, but they started him. He turned into a fantastic you know, a rookie, uh, um, um, and, and they cut uh, uh, Ryan Longwell. Early in uh, in spring training to uh, to um, make room for him on the roster, uh, it looks like the same thing is going to be happening with Chris Cluey here. I mean, you just don't don't draft a punter unless you plan to play him. Uh, and there are these other complicating factors with Chris Cluey. So uh, Cluey's known for his outside interests. He's a fanatic uh, video gamer um, and does video game tournaments. He uh, has a rock band that he plays bass in called Tripping Icarus. He's uh, hyperactive on on Twitter, so he's he, he's got a, a devoted following there and and uh, very active there. He's got a history of advocacy, uh, and so he has used his position uh, in the limelight and created this sort of a following for himself, uh, advocating for marriage equality. And uh, and he also wore a, a vote Ray guy patch on his jersey for which he was fined by the NFL. Well. And Ray Guy, of course, is the um, is the uh, uh, groundbreaking punter for the uh, Oakland Raiders back in the day. Who has who is not in the Hall of Fame and absolutely by any right should be. He's redefined the position. So, um, so Cluey was advocating for uh, Ray Guy being elected to the Hall of Fame, which he should be. Um, but Cluey is not your typical player for all of these reasons. He's a voracious reader. He's hyper articulate. Interview. He's very media savvy. Um, and last season, uh, Mike Prefer, his special teams co coach, his supervisor, uh, got, got fed up with him, and he said the distractions were getting old and that Cluey needed to solely focus on punting and holding. And so you've got that set up. You've got Prefer uh, vo vocalizing, saying that he's, that he's you know, that, that Cluey should basically shut up and stop advocating and just play football. Uh, and then you've also got um, Cluey's salary. So Cluey's got one left, one year left on his uh, contract with a salary of one point four million dollars. Um, yeah, the, you don't expect to play pay uh, kickers a lot, but um, but he's also got over eight years. Um, he holds team, uh, holds uh, Vikings team records for career gross average, forty four. Uh, yards and uh, punts down inside the 20 with a 198. He's pretty much done everything the Vikings have asked of him to do, and he's had a, um, a history, eight, eight years of consistent uh, high-level performance. So, I mean, you know, is it worth it to have that ability when, when, uh, when we're not an explosive offense and, uh, and, um, and uh, you know, position on the field is a large part of, of how we win games? 
Um, so you've got that set up, and, uh, and it looks as if, from all those things considered, the Vikings are saying we we don't want you more because of your off-field interests than for your on-field performance. And uh, uh, Cluey has gone on the offensive doing media interviews saying he hopes he won't be judged by, uh, by his off-field interests and that he'd be judged by his body of work. Um, of course, the Vikings deny that, that that would be the case, but it's all set up so that if he does get cut, which I think is likely, um, there's going to be questions about whether he was cut because of his advocacy. And uh, so it's a PR problem there. Uh, that the Vikings will, are going to have to deal with. Now, um, Jeff Locke was taken out to the Metrodome to, with, uh, by Prefer to do um, some drills to see what he can do, and, you know, um, and, and it's been reported in the media that the uh, Vikings will reconvene with uh, Cluey on Monday to determine what the next step will be, and I assume that uh, if Prefer liked what he saw out of uh, Jeff Locke, that the Monday meeting will be one in which uh, Cluey is cut. Um, so we'll see how that plays out, but it sure looks, you know, from all appearances, it looks like they're set up for some PR uh, fallout by cutting very popular uh, a player who has political, um, uh, is very vocal on pl some political issues. Um, so there's that. It'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Jeff Locke, meanwhile, uh, on April 27th on his Twitter account, uh, which is uh, Jeff Locke 18 uh, Lock with an E, um, said after he was drafted, April 27th, said, I'm grateful to the Vikings for this opportunity to come in and compete. Looking forward to getting to work next week in Skull Vikings. So he's either a very savvy um, young man or he's getting some very good advice to, uh, to say that he's looking forward to compete. You know there's a punter on the roster. You know the punter is very, very um, popular. And... Um, and I just thought that was very, very you know, media savvy way of going about it. So there's that. We've got a, we're probably looking at a rookie punter this year. Um, and good luck to Chris Cluey. He was one of my favorite Vikings. So we'll see. Uh, next is uh, Jeff Baca, who will wear number 60. He's a guard. Tell me what you think of these thought, your thoughts about the Vikings' remaining draft picks. Uh, leave your comments in the comment section below. Um, like this video. Share this video. Subscribe, subscribe to this podcast, and uh, until next week, go Vikings.